Okay, question one. What's the best piece of advice you can give an interviewee? Preparation is key. To read up on the job description, the job spec, to ensure that when you're answering your questions in the interview as well, to make sure they're tailored to the job description and the job spec. It's the key things. Uh, definitely research the company and definitely look into the position you've applied for and the necessary qualifications for the job. I would say listen carefully, um, enjoy the experience and learn from it. Um, just be yourself and be enthusiastic, but try and stay relaxed. Okay. I would say listen carefully to the question that's being asked and answer it honestly um, and clearly as well. And if you do not understand the question, I think there's nothing wrong with saying that you didn't understand it or you didn't get the answer. Good. Uh, question two. When shortlisting for interviews from a selection of CVs, what impresses you the most? Definitely good grammar. Keeping it short, quality over quantity any day. Okay. Qualifications aside, uh, the evidence of commitment, evidence of work ethic, evidence of the ability to solve problems is exactly what we're looking for. Most. Great. What impresses me most is a good covering letter okay. um, and a detailed and well laid out CV. Next. Um, when the CV's um, filled in, it's extremely detailed and informative about their history and what they've been up to. When experience in the workplace, and it doesn't necessarily have to be in the workplace that you're applying for that job. Mm -hmm. I think it's important that you're actually out in any kind of workplace. Question three. When looking at CVs, what's your biggest turnoffs? Falling into question two, definitely too much information. Making sure that your CV can be tailored to the job that you're applying for, even sat we spiel, just let them can that it is designed specifically for our job. Excellent. Poor descriptions uh, of grades and qualifications is a common mistake. Mm -hmm. uh, clearly we need to make sure you've got the qualification before we take you for interview. Okay. So that's a common mistake. Uh, lack of effort in terms of completing the personal statement would be another common uh, bugbear. Yes. Uh, lack of information and my biggest turn off is spelling mistakes. <laughs> um, when they're not completely filled in, it's something that's extremely common. Fill in every single part. I would say lack of personal um, qualities and probably lack of giving your shell credit um, for its due, probably. Okay. Question four. What's the one thing you should never do at an interview? Being abrupt. Definitely kind of challenging your interviewees, kind of making sure that your first impression is key as well. Okay. And question four. <laughs> I would say never look bored or uninterested um, and never be late. Okay. In question. Um, lie about your abilities. Be extremely honest and say that you are willing to put in the work to achieve said abilities if you need to. Because in this day and age of mobile phones, it immediately came to my head to say, do not answer your mobile phone mm. while well at Question five. How would you recommend students prepare for a job in your Perfect for us ourselves would be researching the mission statements, our visions, and probably we follow through with the company itself. Excellent. It's got to be research. You've got to look at the job, look at the details that is required in the job spec, make sure you match that, and identify the areas that you haven't maybe got 100% on, mm -hmm. and have an answer to that, because it'll welcome out in the interview if you're lacking in any area. And as long as you've got an answer to that and you're showing willing to develop and grow, you should do fine. And remember one final thing, which would be, it's not just about winning the work and winning the job. It's also about making sure that suits you. And it's, you must suit the job as much as the job suits you. So then they just go for a job and take the first job you get. Make sure you're going to feel comfortable in that setting. Uh, do your research in the company, smile, be yourself and relax. Excellent. Um, research the company and try and um, decide which department would be best for you within the company. Um, as well as probably asking friends and family some advice, probably set up a mock interview who you're 